G'day folks. Well for tonight's little autopsy we have a old security panel. Uh, this is a freebie from the junkyard made by Solution 16. This is just a pure autopsy. I doubt I'll get anything really useful out of it apart from maybe the uh, 18 volt wall plug pack. I can rectify that and probably get 20 volts DC. Although I can see a lot of rust in there so this thing's been out in the weather for a while. Um, there's a two channel remote receiver but no remotes so that's not much use. It's got a 12 volt ground and clock wire plus two relays normally open normally closed for one and two. Shame without the remotes but then you can get kits for these for like 60 bucks with the board, two remotes, batteries, everything. So yeah let's open this up and find out what's inside. I know there's a 7 amp hour SLA battery floating around inside there. Um, there's an ethernet cable going to it and a lot of uh, wires for PIRs and sensors and probably one for an alarm sounder siren, probably the grey one. The rest of those will be door sensors and PIRs and other things like that. Usual security stuff. Why the hell do they have to make these cabinet screws so long? Like that's just funny. It's like they think the burglar's going to uh, get so far as to get to the security cabinet and then give up trying to remove the damn screws because they're too long. <laughs> like, I'm still haven't even been able to get this one out. Not like burglars don't carry electric screwdrivers these days. It's just silly. Okay, well, after the ridiculously long screws were removed, I can sort of see their point. It takes you a while to get the screws out because you've got a little door switch of course. So whilst the door is shut the switch is depressed and the system's stable. When you pop the door open a little bit the tamper switch goes off and it's going to take you a little while unless you've got a really fast electric screwdriver to get it all open and bypass or clamp that switch shut. So yeah I can sort of see their point. Make it take as long as possible so the alarm go, is guaranteed to go off while they're trying to open the cabinet. Good call, good move. Um, yeah, as you can see, a nice little digital board there, designed and manufactured in Australia, according to that printing, which is really nice. A dead SLA battery, which I've just checked, and it's holding 13 volts, but there is zero current. Even if you short it out, you don't even get a spark. So that one's toast. Uh, I'll probably try and rejuvenate it, but I've already got a dozen of them that I don't even have a use for. So that one is toast. Um, yeah, let's get this board out and have a closer look at it because it's got all the markings and things on it. Like zone, speaker, communication, data, link. Um, where's the RS or um, Ethernet go to? They could just be using Ethernet for other stuff. Yeah, Ethernet's going to speaker and com. Standby speaker, com. Uh, neut uh, ne DC negative and... Where are you going? There's a joiner there. And it's going to black wire. It's actually going to the temp switch. Interesting. That might be to communicate with another console as well. Who knows? There's a very dead spider up in there. <laughs> And a very large hybrid module as well. Two of them. Two large hybrid modules. Now yeah, let's get this board out to some better light. It's made by EDM or whoever that is. Yeah, it says EDM. Yeah, just before I pull it apart, let's see what happens when I put a uh, good battery on it. Got a light on, some relays latching. Yeah, see, so it's probably in alarm mode at the moment. <laughs> yeah, I think it's also connected through here, so who knows? Yeah, it's going under the board to there which is net, uh, positive 12 volts. Yeah, it's interesting how they got this thing wired. 
Yeah, they've just used Ethernet cable to run the wires. That's not actually connected to a computer. 12 volt output 3, which is going to these two, the brown and the grey. So that's probably real, relay switched output. Um, that one there goes up there. Oh, that's a remote. Data clock and 12 volt. Hmm. Not going to be much you can do with it once it's in, the, in that state. So that's on good 12 volts. And there's a grounding. No, what is that? Oh, it's the AC adapter. 22 volt. Yeah, let's see. Why are they all green ground wires? That's odd. Oh no, one's ground, the other one's a yellow alternating current. They don't have to be polarised. So yeah, that's just a mains run for normal operation and that's just for emergency backup. Obviously you you don't always run off battery. Batteries only for when they cut the power to try and break into your building and then hope that the alarm system's gone down, which it usually doesn't. Okay, I've got the board out nice and clean. I could probably use this thing to actually secure this property, but I don't know, it's kind of easy mode. I like my own homebrew stuff. <laughs> I'm not going to show it though, of course that's the point of having security, you don't show them how it all works. And that's the best bit as well about homebrew stuff, because nobody knows how it works apart from the guy who invented it. Yeah, software 1.4. Must be the hybrid modules. You can clearly see some inductors there, there's two of them. Various other surface mount chips and things. Probably opto-couplers there, three of them. Yeah, interesting stuff. What is under this? Let's avoid the warranty. Be a pick chip, I guess. Try and read it. Solution sixteen V one four zero one point four five four four zero zero two one KK zero two one. So it's not even a generic chip, it's actually made for them. Hmm, interesting. So these are all the zones, zone 1 to 8. Ground and 12 volts, more 12 volts and ground. Uh, the zones would be made up of PIRs and probably door, magnetic door switches, reed switches, that sort of thing. Uh, yeah. Your various output, your main triggered output under alarm will go straight to your... Uh, little strobe light and your um, siren. Uh, you can also have it trigger a uh, teleprompt or something like that I guess to uh, alert you via phone. I don't know, it might come in handy. Not that I really want to keep it, I've got more than enough junk floating around. A little spider up in there, very dead. Very dead spider. <laughs> hmm. Anyway, let's have a quick look at this one. Probably not much good. I mean, this thing ain't going to be much good without the control panel and any codes to deactivate it. So, again, it's just one of those things. I like the way the traces here are uh, extended. It must be a inductor, inboard inductor or something. A lot of them are, actually. All of those, which go to the zones. And a lot of those, which go to data and 12 volt, that sort of thing. Oh, sorry, outputs. Anything that's output is uh, almost like an inboard inductor. Interesting. The EDM330J PCB Solution 16 Master Control 1297. There you go. Some of the parts in here are dated 2000 as well, so it's probably a bit of both. Yeah, there you go. 
17th of the 7th, 2000. They might have reprogrammed it or something. Okay, well that's the controller, and it's remarkably similar to one that I built built into a uh, swimming pool cover controller today. Had it triggering reverse relays using the normally open contacts and the two channel remote. You just set it to flip flop mode and on one channel and normal on the other and away you go. Can't give any more detail than that though, it's all work stuff. But yeah, this one has a pick chip in it. PIC 16C54 by microchip. Couple of little generic relays and push buttons probably for programming the uh, individual remotes or something. You probably have four different remotes and it all just clips back together again. I think it'd work, just don't have any remotes for it. And again, just more stuff we don't really need. And that's just a standard transformer. It's heavy enough. There's nothing else in there being AC. Yeah. So that's the only thing I'm really keeping. I don't really need anything else. I don't have any more room for it. So I hope you enjoyed the autopsy, or at least a look inside a uh, Australian built, Australian designed and made uh, alarm panel. And uh, stay tuned for lots more. I've got plenty of autopsies to get out of the way. And the sooner I do, the better, because I'm running out of room. <laughs> mm. Yeah, solution 16.